Okay, so this is the um, four-dimensional version of a tic-tac-toe. Um, instead of having a 3x3 three three, uh, regular tic-tac-toe game, or having a three-dimensional one, which would be possibly 4x4x4, four by four by four, now we have a four-dimensional game, which may have, for example, in this case, a 5x5x5x5. Five by five by five by five. What we're seeing here is the middle cube if we have a look like this, we can see here this is the middle cube. There's two on the left, two on the right, so there are five cubes, each of five planes, each of five rows and five columns. The idea is to be able to line up um, any, for example, like these five here would be fine, or these five like this, or five across from the top corner here to the bottom corner here, or five across from the way from the left over here to way from the right over here. So we have, um, let's, let's try and, and see if we can make um, an example. I'm going to try to play here. I, I'll play first. And now the computer has played, if we look over at the, tef on the left here, it said I played on the third cube, the red plane, the third row, and the third column. And sure enough, if we look over here, it is right in the middle here. This is the third cube, this is the third plane, the red plane, the third row, and uh, the third column. So it played right... let me move the cube a little bit, Let's see, so we can see better. So it's right in the middle here. So it's probably a very strategic location, because you then you had um, many, many lines crossed through that, through that place. So that's a, that was a very good move. So now I have one which is on the right over here, so I could line it up, I could have another one here, I could have another one there, and let's put one here. So the computer now has played on the first, on the green, first row, and fifth column to block me, because I had one on each one of the corners, so it, it preemptively put a, uh, a marker there. Now let's see if I... I'm going to play at random just to make things a little bit faster. I'm going to play once here. The computer played on the fifth. We can't see very well here because it's on the... it's at the other end of the, the, the game. It played on the fifth cube, on the yellow plane, on the fifth row and the first column. Now I'm going to play here. So now it's telling me that it's got... it played on the second cube, on the blue plane, on the second row and the fourth column. And it's telling me with three exclamation marks that um, it's got five, four aligned, so that means I've got to be real careful because the next time he's going to win. So let's have a look. There's one here, which is the, the bottom right, uh, the first row, fifth column on the green plane of the first plane. Then on the second one, it's one lower. On the third one, it's one lower yet, which is the one they played at right at the beginning. And then on the fourth one, there is nothing. It's empty. There should, I, I should be playing there. And on the fifth one, there it is. He's got one right on the corner there. So if I should be playing to be, I should be playing here. But just to show that uh, the computer w can win, I'm just going to play elsewhere. And yes, so he's got this one aligned, plus this one, plus this one, and this one, and this one. And it's telling me right on top there. I play on the fourth cube, the purple plane, fourth row, second column, and I win on, and it tells me on each one of the places where it's winning. So we can have a look, we can see very well all the five, all the cubes, and all the slots that have been aligned. So if you want to play the game, you can always try to play it here. That's uh, one way to do it. Good luck.